Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Suffolk County Executive Steve Ballone claimed that the number one issue facing the county is the decline of the water quality. To tackle that problem and educate the public, the county created a filmmaking competition called Crapshoot. So this came about from a meeting between me and Sarah Lansdale, the uh, director of planning for Suffolk County. She wanted to create some mechanism to educate people about nitrogen pollution uh, that we're suffering with here on Long Island. And she thought a film contest would engage people and get them involved and get them educated and more knowledgeable about what the issues are. Many local environmental groups were featured in the reel. But for Michelle, there was a major highlight. I was really happy that, that young people, you know, 13, 14 years old, uh, also uh, took part in this. And I think with um, that age group and millennials also, you know, they really like to use media to express themselves. So I was really happy with the uh, outcome. The multitude of entries focused on a singular theme, but in different ways. Oh, I thought they were really great. Um, they were submitted by so many different kinds of people. They ranged from very simple to a little more uh, complex, um, but they were all saying the same thing. Nitrogen is a bad thing, and they were focusing on septic systems and also uh, lawn fertilizer and agricultural runoff, so I thought that that was really important. The creative styles ranged from straight documentaries to comedies to horror, and for Sarah, Reality is more horrifying than fiction. One of the powerful messages that came out of the films that we saw today was the fact that water in the future will be more expensive than oil. Michael and Matt entered a visually rich film and they ended up getting an education while educating. I think it's tremendous when you get a range of people involved in a contest or a movement to create awareness and to change behavior. And Matt and I, in producing these videos, we got a chance to talk to a lot of different people and came away with a lot of information and a lot of ideas for projects going forward. For Matt, cleaning the waterways cannot happen quickly enough. We're Long Islanders, you know, we love our island and uh, we want to, you know, keep it clean for generations to come. But it needs to happen right now. So everybody keeps talking about, oh, you know, years from now, uh, years from now. But no, 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 right now. Adam enjoys being a creative problem solver. Um, anytime there's a there's an opportunity to do something fun that doesn't have a lot of limitations as far as what you can do or how you can do it, uh, that's right up my alley. For Adam, the arts are a powerful educational tool. When you get the arts involved too, it can maybe present issues in a way that is entertaining or or humorous or funny or or all these things that engages them. And then they say, oh wait, that was about something. That was about an issue. Let me look into that issue, you know. And but I just came and I enjoyed a day at the cinema. So it, it can do two things at once, and that's that's a real powerful thing, I, I think. Many videos painted a doomsday scenario, which some communities out west are experiencing today. In the west, in the southwest, my I have a sister who lives in Phoenix. Water is a huge issue. It's considered like gas, like oil, like that kind of a commodity that has a real price tag, uh, you know, um, associated with it. Michelle understands that teaching residents to protect their water source is a persistent long-term project. It's it's a change of culture here, change of behavior that's needed, and to recognize that we do not have an infinite source of water if we don't take care of the aquifer that we're sitting on top of. 